So here's the first of the problems when we're dealing with friction. And what I want you to do when you deal with friction is anytime there's a friction type of problem, I want you to start with saying what's happening, which is going to be net force is equal to. All right? And then you can say what's going to be working on, on one direction or the other. Now I'm asking for applied force. Okay, so there's going to be a pulling on the rock. What's fighting against it? Well, friction. Now, is there going to be an acceleration? No, if they're just overcoming the static friction, the acceleration is going to be zero. Same with the other one, too. Down here, you're going to see constant velocity. Acceleration is going to be zero as well. So, we say MA, with the formula for net force, is equal to force applied, which there's no formula for force applied, you're just going to look for it, minus force of friction, which is mu mg. All right, we do our algebra and add mu mg to both sides. And we get that. Now, we just said the acceleration is zero, so that is gone anyways. So we have zero there, but mu will be 0.13 times its mass, which is going to be 26 times 9.8. Plug and chug, and you will get your answer. Now, what about the other problem? Well, the other problem is going to be the same thing because acceleration is zero, but there's just going to be a different coefficient. Okay? So notice how there is still not going to be any acceleration here. Because if you're going at constant velocity, anytime you see constant velocity, acceleration is equal to zero. It's going to be the same exact setup, except the mu in this case will be different. Instead of 0.13, we're going to have our new mu, which is 0 0.08. Because once something is sliding, it takes less friction. So plug that in, and you'll get your answer for letter B.